Okay, today's prayer devotional comes from the book of James. The book of James is known as the how-to book for Christian living and Christian behavior. It comes from uh, chapter 5, verses 13 through 14. And I would say this is an invocational response to life. Um, the invocation means um, the act or process of petitioning for help or support or calling upon authority. And we know that Jesus rose with all power in his hands in heaven and in earth. And so when we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus because he has all power. In James 5, 13, God has given us a formulated response to uh, life. And we go through seasons in life. We, And James kind of talks about um, those, uh, those seasons that we have. Um, but our, our response is basic, prayer and praise. And it's all listed in this, um, in this uh, scripture. Let us go to James 5, uh, uh, 13, verses 13 and 14. It says, and this is the New Living Translation. Are any of you suffering? They should keep on praying about it. And those who have reason to be thankful should continually sing praises to the Lord. Verse 14, are any among you sick? They should call the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. Suffering. This word of suffering, it could mean trouble, affliction or um, any type of difficulty that we may be going through life. Um, we, Jesus says in John uh, 16, 33b that we will have trouble in this world. And oftentimes we get distracted or we get disappointed because we have trouble in this world, but Jesus tells us that we will have trouble in this world. But he said he has overcome the world. So we have to take comfort in and confidence knowing that Jesus has overcome the world. Um, in the response for the suffering, whether it's from evil, from relationships, from uh, difficulties on our jobs, financial challenges, Jesus says to keep on praying. The word tells us to keep on praying. And so whether it's because of somebody doing something to us that had that we did it was unjust the word says keep on praying just keep on praying if we are happy we go through seasons of life either we're going in a trial or going being tested we either going in or coming out and so when we're out if we're happy god says to sing sing and keep on singing giving him thanks and praise for the things that he has done already for us and so I don't know what your favorite song, but we a simple song is thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Just thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for all that you do for me. And so we can stay in a place of being a continually thanking him. Um, don't, the lepers that were healed, only one came back. So we want to make sure that we're that one that comes back to say, tell God, thank you for saving me. Thank you for whatever he's done for us and, and give him praise and honor and glory. In Psalms 34, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times and your praises shall continually be in my mouth. That should be perpetual, that we are continuously giving God thanks and praise for all that he has done. In verse 14 it says, if you're anyone sick, we have sickness in our families. We get sick. Every, um, that is something that we experience in our lives. And it says um, to seek the prayers of the elders, call the elders. Now, a lot of times when we are sick, we don't want people to know our business. And so the Bible is telling us to call the elders, find someone that you uh, can share with that you can trust what you're going through and uh, call and solicit the prayers of the elders and the elders are the spiritually mature someone that you know can get a prayer through um, and someone that's not going to gossip your your uh, pr your challenges or your needs when you're sick 
And so, but God tells us in, in Hebrews 14, in Hebrews 10, um, without wavering, Hebrews 10, 23 says, without wavering, let us hold tight to the hope we have for God uh, can be trusted to keep his promise. Think of ways to encourage one another to, um, to outburst of love and good deeds. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage and warn each other, especially now that the day of his coming um, is coming back again. So don't forsake the fellowshipping of believers. We are in this body of Christ together for a reason. We need each other. Um, the prayer support of believers is so important. So call the elders um, and let them pray. So our response to the challenges of life is prayer and praise. It just comes simply to that. We pray and continually pray. When we're not in challenges and difficulties, praise and give pray heart praise give God praise with all your heart give God praise for all that he's done and what he has brought you out of how he's answered prayers give him praise but even if you're if you're suffering and you're going through a difficult time you can still call the elders um, sometimes our challenges get heavy and we need support um, for our brothers, from our brothers and sisters to pray and lift us up and help us navigate through the challenges that we have. And so not only when you're sick, make sure that you call the elders or call your brothers and sisters in Christ to pray with you with situations that may be heavy burdens that you may be carrying. God never meant for us to do this alone. So with that, it's simple. We either pray in are praising. Let us bow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just give you thanks and praise, Father God, for you being available to us, our Father. We thank you, Jesus, that you rose with our power in your hands in heaven and in earth. And Lord, we're not praying amiss, Lord. We're praying because we know that you can do something about what we're asking you to do. And so, Lord, whether we are suffering afflictions lord god we know that you are there with us lord god and you told us lord to ask you tell us to come to you tell us to come boldly to the throne of grace to find help in the time of need lord god and so father help us to know the value and remember the value in prayer and not just go to friends and talk about it lord help lord help us to make sure that we're talking to you and listening to you um, to give us wisdom on how to uh, go through this situation, Lord God, and wait for your answer. Wait for your solution, Father. Oh, Father, we just give you thanks. We have so much to thank you for, Lord God. And we just pray that we will have a lifestyle of thanksgiving. We pray that we will always give you thanks for all that you do for us, Father. And Father, when we are sick, when our loved ones are sick, Lord God, we know that you are a healer. Lord, it's not in the person that's praying. It's it's you. We're soliciting you, the healer, to heal um, the individuals that are sick. And even, Lord, we have to lay hands on ourselves, Lord God. You are a healer. And so, God, we just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you honor. We give you glory that you answer our prayers. It is in your holy name, Jesus the Christ, I pray. Amen. <music>